Okay, everybody. Uh, I'm the Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about chlorine bleach and some of the other products that we use on wood to restore wood, which is still kind of crazy to me, yet bleach to restore. Okay, anyway, um, we did a class on wood restoration and one of the, uh, we usually do demos. And on the demos, we usually do fences or deck uh, pieces, that kind of thing, uh, to show how we uh, clean the wood and the different things we use. So we use sodium hypochlorite, we use sodium percarbonate, we use a sodium metasilicate product, and then we use sodium hydroxide um, as far as cleaners are concerned on wood. And what we do is we take a, a fence, a piece of a fence on this case, um, with heavy organic growth. And I'm going to turn the camera around and show you this and then show you what the results are as I've let it sit out to regray again to reuse at, a, at another class or at a later date. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to explain here what we did. Okay. So as we, anybody who's seen my demos have seen me do that with the wood. You can see on this panel that we have two that looked like the old fence with the heavy organic growth. And we see that in wood restoration. When we go to a, uh, uh, whether it's wood siding, a deck, a fence, whatever, and it has heavy organic growth, how are we going to clean that? Everybody today's bleach, bleach. Okay, you gotta use bleach. Okay, well, this is what happens, and I'm just gonna go right down the line. We used four different types of products here. I'm gonna show you the results. This is sodium hypochlorite, okay? What's happening here? This is just from the beginning of the season. Do you see the green coming, the growth coming back? This growth is coming back where we use sodium hypochlorite. You wanna know why? Because sodium hypochlorite reacts with the first thing it comes in contact with. So once it hits this organic growth, it's done. It's over, it never touches the wood. We never get to the root. On a, on a porous surface like wood, bleach is made more effective on non-porous surfaces. On porous surfaces like wood, we never get to the root. So you want to bleach and run on these situations? Have at it. Sodium hypochlorite might be good for maintenance solutions or new wood, that kind of stuff, uh, in the right solution, in the right mix. Uh, not too heavy uh, as far as your dilution and so forth. But overall, it never really gets to the root. Now look at sodium percarbonate at the same time. Here's a close-up. There's the, the before or what it was prior. This is what the sodium percarbonate did. And if you look... There's no organic growth coming back because sodium percarbonate gets to the root better than sodium hypochlorite. Moving to the other side of the organic growth, we used sodium metasilicate product on these two and then sodium hydroxide on the last two. If you look, you'll see there's still some brown tone and nice little bit of tone to the wood, but it's left out to gray. But you can see the organic growth has not come back on either one of those or the sodium percarbonate. These are your best options when cleaning with heavy organic growth. If you use sodium hypochlorite, be prepared for that. That's what happens. I'm Everett Abrams, I'm the Wizard of Wood. This is why I do these videos, so people can learn from them. People can't understand why, hey, I cleaned with bleach, it didn't come out really good, I had to clean it twice, because it reacts with the first thing it comes in contact with. Hey, I used bleach, um, I cleaned it right, I did everything I was supposed to, but mold and mild, the customer called me back, they had uh, the growth come back, you know, six months later. Yep, well, maybe it wasn't the right product to use in that scenario. Not saying don't use sodium hypochlorite in any scenario, just saying it's best to know when you can use it. Hope this video has been helpful to, to the people um, doing wood restoration and uh, what products they're using uh, out there to uh, get optimal results. Everett Abrams, The Wizard of Wood. Check me out. Like this page. Uh, subscribe to the page. See me on Facebook or anywhere else too. Everett Abrams, The Wizard of Wood. Have a great day.